So, so Ian, it was a 2-1 loss to Stockton. Goal in the last minute for them. Signer, isn't it? It is, and credit to our players. They've taken to the sixth game for me to have this horrible feeling of losing and to forget how bad it is. Um, but I'm very much performance-driven, uh, very much driven by the process, and I thought the players deserved at least a point, if not all three today. Um, I thought we started off really well. Our defensive shape was excellent. We causing problems when we, we broke on them and got down the side. Before our goal, uh, we nearly scored from Kurt breaking and Ross, just unfortunate. And then we got the free kick and it was a good good ball in, good header by Elliot. And then they didn't really have anything. And we just got to learn quickly that you've just got to manage the game for 10, 15 after you score. And we had more height than them on set pieces and we've lost uh, the game on, on set pieces. And it's disappointing because we pride ourselves and work hard and we've let a free header for for the first one and then a scramble again like Tuesday we've got to learn and then second half I thought we were a better team I thought they were flat I thought they didn't really cause any problems I thought Jack Tinker kept their best player seven quiet I thought um, Luke Rawson led the line brilliantly I thought around, around that I thought Kurt was excellent in midfield and we just said before the game don't give three kicks away around the box because they're number eight you know we put it better in this league at taking a free kick and his delivery um, and just the low of averages tell you they're going to score one and I thought Kurt was unfortunate, he knows that he should give the ref a decision, but I didn't think it was a free kick. I thought the three before were. But it's a great ball and a great header, and we're just, it's just an absolute sucker punch. You haven't got time to come back, and I feel for the players because they don't deserve it. And I've just said in there, look, the performance was excellent against one of the best teams in this league. We've got to dust ourselves down and put it right against Chef Club on, on Monday. Yeah, obviously, it's a signal that free kick. It was a very similar sort of free kick to what Presswich scored in their last minute equaliser as well. Was, is it a case of getting back to the set piece defending and yeah look we have and um yeah and i don't want it to become oh this is this is a problem because it isn't because we've defended all the other set pieces really well today it's just unfortunate the the two we've conceded press switch and this one have been in the last minute you shouldn't have anything to come back from even though we nearly did a press switch but yeah we continually talk practice set pieces nothing matches the real thing so players have got to take responsibility and they are taking responsibility and they they want to put it right as much as I do. But we'll continue to talk and practice set pieces. Yeah, and obviously one of the things, obviously they got a lot of free kicks towards the end of the game and a lot of fouls. While well, you've mentioned that bit and that you didn't believe that last one was a foul, is that frustrating to see when you're just wanting to clear the ball away? Yeah, it's game management. It's just game management. You just let them have the ball in front. Let them have the ball in front. Let them have more touches, more passes in front. Just don't give them a foul. Don't, give them, don't attract pressure. Um, by making those mistakes. It's honest mistakes. Four lads have made it. I'm not doing it on purpose. They've just been honest to try and win the ball and they've just missed time that. But Kurt, I thought Kurt's had an excellent game today and unfortunately he's just made a wrong decision and it's cost us. And the, I'm not sure who was marking 10 who scored, but it, you could say can he block him, but the ball's that good in, it's, it's hard to defend. Uh, in more positive things, Elliot Murray got his first goal and actually, according to our records, his very first goal in any sort of competitive senior football. Uh, what did you think of his performances over today and the last few weeks and getting the goal today? Yeah, look, I know Elliot from, from Big House. He'd been played at right back, but I know he's a, he's a, he's a centre back. I have a conversation with him. Obviously, he played, if you didn't really saw him with the hands of the first game, you can see the growth and the progression in him in such a spot, short space of time. He's another one who's 21. He had a, he was at Derby County and then Mickle over had a, a serious injury through COVID. So he's 21. He's not had a full season of men's football. He's been disjointed. So he's only going to keep getting better and better. So I thought his all-round play today was was very good. Um, and for him to get that goal, it's a bonus. And talk about centre-half, he's got to dominate both boxes. Chas nearly had one second half. Um, and they're both growing uh, at this level. It's the first time they've had sustained game time at this level, uh, even though Chas has got experience of seven years of the league below. So they're only going to get better. And I thought against lively forwards for them today, they were excellent. Obviously, next week is a very short turnaround to the Bank Holiday Monday match against our friends from Derbyshire, Sheffield FC. Um, what, what we've obviously we're very familiar with some of their players already as they come from us last season. Do you think you're ready for that game with the short turnaround and knowing what some of their players are like? Yeah, look, Sheffield have played today. Um, the lads are doing a reluctant cool down now, made them do that, and they know the benefit of it. It's hard to do when you've lost. They're doing a recovery session in the morning uh, at Jordan Lemon's uh, range. So we're making sure we're obviously hydrating, doing the best that we can. So we're ready for that for the uh, for the local derby. Yes, we know their players. Um, ultimately, both teams are going into it a little bit fatigued, and if we play like we did today, we'll get three points. Okay, thank you very much, Ian. Cheers, Adam. Thank you.